Okay, everybody, Exony here, and we all know that Pyro's gonna win this big class war that's, like, going on. He's, it's 56 to, like, 44, like, a million points ahead and all that, so Heavy's not gonna win this one. You know, the big guy's gonna have to sit out while Pyro gets his update, which is a bit sad, but, you know, he'll get it. Now, with this Pyro update that, you know, they said is gonna come, I would really like to see some of the Pyro weapons under more scrutiny, besides things like, you know, Flamethrower Mojo being kind of lame, which is, you know, how the Flamethrower works as, like, a particle system of projectiles that are affected by ping and like movement and they're really weird and like wonky and they really should be reworked because they're kind of bad and that kind of thing make the pyro more viable but there's two weapons i want to talk about in particular in the pyro's arsenal those being the degreaser and the reserve shooter especially when paired together because the reason why they're so good paired together is because the degreaser got a nerf where it switches away from itself like at a slower speed and then like it doesn't get the super large switch speed on both ways you know two and away but the reserve shooter still gets its switch speed when you go to it so it's still really fast and with the degreaser you have no damage minuses anymore so when you just m1 into someone you're still doing the normal flamethrower damage the biggest downsides on it would be the five more ammo that it consumes with air blasting consuming 25 instead of 20 but that's not a huge deal when you just kind of look at your ammo and you're not just panic air blasting everything you see coming at you and playing like conserved or just like smart at all you won't run out of ammo and then it does one tick of afterburn damage every half second instead of three which makes it do like 20 afterburn damage total which afterburn shouldn't be the way you're killing people if you're playing pyro you shouldn't be relying on that to kill things so there's no huge downsides for using the decreaser over the normal flamethrower and when you can just turn your secondary weapon into your primary weapon by just switching to it super fast you just puff someone up into a corner after like putting a bit of fire damage onto them puff them up with an air blast and then pull out the reserve shooter and get a hundred damage meat shot on them that then another shot like a decent shotgun shot or just mouse one into them will just finish off most enemies especially if you hit two good reserve shooter shots that will just kill most anything and it's really annoying to play against because the first air blast that hits you it takes away all your strafing and you just kind of go straight up especially if you're in a corner in like a small room i'm thinking like borneo the shack areas you get air blasted in there you just hit the wall and you're dead he's gonna kill you and this is so annoying to play against because it takes relatively low skill because the pyro doesn't have to like predict your movement he knows you're gonna go straight up to where he air blasts you to he has complete control over you in that situation and it's not really fun to fight against because of that because you know okay I just can't get close to this pyro because he's gonna just puff me into court. I honestly think fighting against the flare gun is more fun because, you know, it just still has like the 90 damage crit, so it's got the same set of mechanics, but it doesn't have four shot in it. It doesn't have like four, you know, 90 damage flares that the pyro can just pump out. He has to like do the slow reload and then, you know, get back to it, which makes it a lot more fun to fight against in general. But these two weapons, when paired together, like I said, the switch speed is almost instant, so it just turns the reserve shooter into your primary weapon which isn't fun now what they could they do to fix this is i honestly would like to see the reserve shooter taken away from the pyro but that's just me i mean, maybe they could rework it and change it because on soldier it's fine i mean if you have to pop someone up with a shotgun which is pretty or with a rocket launcher it's pretty hard to do and if you're hitting that it's pretty impressive but with pyro it's like eh good job you want to like a high five or something you pushed me into a corner and got 200 damage meat shots on me good Good for you. Maybe if I had like a slower firing speed to make you hit those shots or something, it would be a lot funner to fight against. Or if they reworked it all together, or just took it away from Pyro, like I said. And the degreaser, I don't really know what you would change. I mean, it's fine with something like the flare gun, I think. And it's not like super powerful, except with like the reserve shooter backing it up. So I don't have a huge problem with that. I also, small note, I don't like the way the Pyro's melee weapons work because right now you either use the power jack or you're crippling yourself because the power jack is so much better than any other pyro like melee and the back scratcher is fun to use but if you're using it in any like competitive scene where you have a medic you're just hindering yourself and the third degree is like a joke weapon the fire axe is just trash the axe extinguisher is kind of garbage after like it got super nerfed but it was like insane like god mode weapon before so i don't want it like back to where it was but i'd like to see another pyro weapon that like rivals the power jack in like usability and that's really all i have to say today or tonight whenever you're seeing this and you know stay golden